Hi, this is Olga from hbury.com. In this sewing tutorial, I will show you how to sew a beanie hat. It's not only a comfortable and practical thing, but also a fashionable accessory suitable for any gender and age. Of course, a beanie hat can be purchased in almost any clothing store, but a do-it-yourself beanie hat is much better, more interesting, more beautiful, in my opinion. Moreover, it's uh, not at all difficult to sew a beanie hat with an interesting twist. Even a beginner can handle it, and uh, you can even do it without a pattern. It won't take uh, much time. In one evening, you will have time to sew for yourself and your whole family. I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Hbury Sewing Tutorials. This channel is updated weekly with free sewing projects and tutorials such as the one you are going to see today. I am so happy that you have joined me. So, let's learn how to sew a beanie. What you will need for DIY beanie? Knit fabric, stretch or ballpoint needle for sewing machine, matching thread, trims for beanie decoration, steam iron. Uh, what material is suitable for the hat? The best way to sew the beanie hat is from knit fabric, fleece, velvet, lace. The beanie can be sewn from lightweight fabric and worn in the warm season or from textured knitted fabric or fleece for cold weather. It's up to you to choose. The hat is good in different versions. You can even use a boring old sweater or soft knitted dress. I have chosen lightweight rayon fabric. It's double-sided, my favorite color with sparkling silver threads. Now about beanie measurements. This model is very simple, you can cut it right on the fabric. Take just one measurement, head circumference. In my case it was 21.5 inches. Cut a rectangle from the fabric. What is the size of the rectangle? Well, it depends. Make the length of the rectangle 22-24 inches and the width of the rectangle in most cases should be equal to your head measurements. In my case it was 21.5 inches. But have in mind that the knit fabric can have a different amount of stretch and in order to make the beanie hat we will need to take into account the properties of the selected material. So if your fabric is highly stretchable, make the width of the rectangle 1, 1 1.5 inches less than your head measurements. If you do not make a decrease, then the head will slide to your eyes. And if the amount of stretch is less than normal, then add 1, 1.5 inches to your head measurements you want the head to fit snugly around the head. The side of the rectangle that's equal to the head measurements has to be more stretchy than the length. Fold the rectangle in half lengthwise. Pin it before going to a sewing machine. Leave an opening in the seam for turning the head right side out. The opening is about 2.5 inches long. Prepare your sewing machine. We are going to sew stretch knit fabric and the regular sewing machine setting will not work for it. You don't want bursting stitches. So, first of all, insert a stretch or ballpoint needle with a rounded tip. I have a detailed tutorial on stretch needles. Check it out if you don't know how to use them. Uh, find the link under this video. Second, choose a stretch stitch on your sewing machine. 
I have this stitch on my machine. It's sometimes called a lightning stitch. If you want to know more about types of stretch stitches, check out my tutorial on my blog. I will put the link under this video. Third, choose proper thread. <coughs> Sew the seam, leaving an opening for turning. Seam allowances are 3 eighths of an inch. Don't sew over pins. After you are done sewing, iron the seam carefully. So I stitched this seam and ironed it and I left the opening for turning the head right side out. Now comes the trick of folding. Put it exactly as I am showing in this video. One corner to the opposite side corner. Let me show you one more time from the different angle. Swap two opposite corners on the top half of the folded fabric, connecting them to the bottom two. Now we need to sew the bottom seam. Do exactly as I am showing here. Fold the prepared piece as you see in the video. It's hard to describe, just check the video and do exactly the same. We have a sandwich of four layers here. And we need to sew the outer layers together, right side together. The top layer and the bottom layer are now the wrong side out. We will sew them together, then turn. We have to take the inner two layers away from the stitching line. What is now the inner two layers will be unfolded and pulled out and will become part of the tube itself. Stitch the tube using 3 eighths of an inch seam allowances. The seam in this place has to be stretchy, so the thread doesn't pop out later. Stitch until close to the folded edge, then pull the inner layers. The inner layers will come out. We arrange them manually and continue stitching. We do this until we encounter the initial pin, which marks the start of the stitch. So now we have this shapeless piece. How do we make it a beanie head? Well, easily. Find the opening left in the side seam for turning the head inside out and turn the beanie head. Align the edges, first with pins, then with an iron. The bottom of the beanie head should look neat. The head is double-sided, it has a lining from the same fabric. We have to make sure that the lining does not pop out at the most inappropriate moment and there is no need to constantly correct it. 
The lining should always stay in place when the beanie is worn. After ironing, take the pins out and you will have this neat edge. You can always decorate your beanie. There are so many possibilities with applique, rhinestones, ribbons or embroidery. It all depends on your preferences. I decided to use elastic trims, this sparkling one. The ribbon has to be elastic too, if you want to use it for the beanie hat. I basted it first to the hat edge and after that stitched. I used metallic thread in the needle. This Guterman metallic thread is excellent for my sewing machine. First I stitch the ribbon edges. As you can see, the seam is almost invisible. You cannot even say that it was stitched in here. Next step. Close the opening. So now the hat is almost ready. It remains to sew the open seam section with blind stitches. Sew by hand. I have a video tutorial on my blog on how to sew invisible stitches if you are interested. The beanie hat is now ready. At the top of the hat there is an interesting pattern in the form of a spiral or a flower and a hole. Well, if you wish you can stick your ponytail into the hole, creating a unique stylish look. I hope you liked this video and uh, in the next tutorial I want to show you how to easily sew this Q-tube scarf transformer that can also be a face mask. Thank you so much for joining me on this sewing tutorial and once again I invite you to subscribe and take a look around and some of the other tutorials on my channel that might be useful to you. Please share this video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you again next week. Happy sewing!